A notice in the newspapers late last year served to notify workers and business owners along Nairobi's Outer Ring Road that they were up for eviction as the Kenya Urban Roads Authority sought to expand the road. The expansion project is expected to take three years, easing traffic along the road in a mega project almost similar to the thicker superhighway. But it comes at a cost. A section of business premises along the road will have to be brought down. And the business community is having sleepless nights over this project. The traders do a brisk business. Demand for furniture is high, even in January. But the traders' days here are numbered. The face of Outer Ring Road is about to change. Late in 2013, the Kenya Urban Roads Authority secured funding from the World Bank and the African Development Bank to expand the 13-kilometer stretch of road known as the Outer Ring Road in Nairobi. It has become a road that is within the built-up areas and it needs to be expanded so that the travel time between in that area can be improved. The plan is ambitious to turn the stretch of road which starts at Taj Mall in Embakasi and runs up to the GSU headquarters into a dual carriageway. The new road will have dedicated bus lanes, service roads on each side, footpaths and a cycle lane. There will be 10 pedestrian footbridges. Access roads into Tena, Donholm, Southlands, Jacaranda, Kayole and Umoja estates will have a six-lane underpass, while the Jogo Road roundabout will be replaced with a four-leaf clover interchange. This is expected to ease the congestion on the roads in the fashion of thicker superhighway, but it comes at a cost. Once complete, the new and improved outer ring road is expected to ease congestion. However, in order to benefit, a section of business owners along the road will have to relinquish their positions. Traders along the road are a worried lot. The Urban Roads Authority has already begun to issue notices asking them to prepare to move. It is a move that is causing anxiety and speculation is rife as to which buildings may be brought down as construction begins. Our daily bread, uh, we got it here and uh, it affects so many people. A study found that there were 445 small business premises along the road. It also emerges that construction of the junctions may require the government to compulsorily acquire the land around the Donholm roundabout, eliciting fears that businessmen will suffer great losses. Kura, however, counters that it has put aside almost 800 million shillings for compensation to persons who can prove the legitimacy of their claim. Supermarket, as far as now we know, we don't have anybody within the road reserve as a supermarket. Yeah, but you know the issue of the petrol stations because they're going to be affected. The bottom line now that despite any misgivings, come June, work will begin on the new and improved outer ring road. But whether the road will prove a blessing or a curse is anyone's guess. Wilkinson Albo, KTN.